Hey guys, it's Kogan Sunday Service. My name is Christian and I'm so glad that you've connected with us. We want to thank Kogan Self-Defense Academy for making these messages possible, for getting them out to you. So Matt, Bowie, Rob, thank you guys so much for all that you do, not only to make Kogan amazing, but to get this message of hope and encouragement out. It's spiritual defense in our theme, and that theme has three parts. The first is to defend, to defend ourselves against depression, against anxiety, against fear, and all those negative things that bring us down. It's to disarm, to disarm the powers and forces of darkness and the lies that they tell and bring that into the light and see what truth is. And finally, it's to defeat those powers and to walk in freedom and victory. You know, for the next couple weeks, it's going to be all about the spiritual defense of Christmas. You know, it's inevitable. As somebody new comes into the academy, they start to spar or they start to roll and you can see it in their eyes. They think, this is not what I thought it was going to be. There's a learning curve that happens. All of a sudden, what you perceive, what you think might be, becomes truth and reality in the experience of what's happening to you. And all of a sudden, you have to recalibrate. Christmas is no different. Unfortunately, as we look around in our world, we've got an entire world that has convinced us or is trying to that Christmas is all about gifts, that Christmas is all about getting, that Christmas is all about boosting the economy, that Christmas is simply about those good feelings you get when you hear a familiar song on the radio or you drink some hot chocolate. All of those things happen. We do buy gifts. We do get to experience hanging out with other people and enjoying the holidays. But I want to remind you in the spiritual defense of Christmas that the story of Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus. You can read about it in Luke chapter 2. You can read the historical account of Jesus coming to the world of the shepherds and the wise men. Some of those stories that you've read. And here's the deal. We read that story, we hear that story, maybe we sit in that Christmas Eve service, and then we go back out and we look around and we think, you know, it doesn't look like that out here. I didn't think it was going to be like this. Guys, we have to recognize and understand that Christmas has to be intentional, that Christmas has to be focused, that Christmas has to be something that we choose to celebrate on a spiritual level because there are a lot of people who simply want to experience it on a physical level. And very similar to getting in and finding out that rolling's not what you thought, sparring's not what you thought, as you read the Christmas story and then you go back out and you look around, you're gonna think, you know, Christmas is not what I first thought. Instead, I encourage you this month to begin to look around at the opportunity at the perspective that maybe there's something more to Christmas than all the material goods, than the traffic, than the shopping, than the pressure and stress. What if Christmas this year is about being still? What if Christmas this year is about looking inside spiritually and recognizing our need for God to come and meet with us? You know, one of my favorite names for Jesus is Emmanuel which literally means God with us. He is with us. He is with me, and he can be with you. That begins our spiritual defense of Christmas. We're going to talk a little more about some Christmas perspectives as we move through this month. My hope is to keep you safe and sane, encouraged, and help you as we navigate this year. I want to thank you so much for joining us. If you have questions, if you need something, my Facebook, my email are down below. Again, thank you so much to Kogan Self-Defense Academy. Beyond that, I hope you guys have a good week. I look forward to seeing you out there on the mats. God bless you and have a great Sunday.